okay, here is the the optic that I decided to go with, which is the Hollow Sun 508T Green. Now, there's a lot of different optics that I looked at, but I, uh, I narrowed it down to this one because of the features that it has. I like the features that it has on it. Um, I considered a bunch of them, like the Swamp Fox and the Trigicon RMR, um, but I narrowed it down to the 508T Green. So what I want to do now is just do an unboxing, sort of show you, just show you the red dot, um, and then I'm going to install it on my uh, Sig P320 uh, 357. So right now, just unbox it and see what we're dealing with here. Let's see here. Oh, there's the, if you want to pause the video and look at the uh, features, there you go right there. So, all right, unbox this. So let's see if I can unbox this without tearing up the box. Now, I have not opened this yet because just in case I have to send it back, I'm going to keep the box. Let's see. All right, there you go. Okay, it's got a lid on it. Plastic box. There's your owner's manual. Definitely going to read that. Throw that away or you can eat it. I wouldn't recommend it though. Here's a cleaning cloth. Okay, and now we have the red dot itself. Let's just go ahead and get that out. It's got it's got a little bit of weight to it. Now this is this one is the titanium body. I don't know if that's good or bad when it comes to optics. So I mean as far as design wise, I do like the look of it. So the gun I'm the gun I have is supposed to be cut for an RMR. That's one of the reasons I chose this optic and the the RMR cuts because when you choose an, when you choose an RMR cuts on your slide you have a lot you have a lot more choices when it comes to buying an optic so I you know I don't know if it's gonna fit on that so you know I may have to send it back so you have on this one you have your battery tray on the side which is a good thing because you don't have to take the optic off to switch batteries and then here I guess you have your on off switch and your your brightness switch or whatever on the top you have a solar panel which that's not really something I care about but it's there you know um, I guess you have your left right adjustments I don't know okay and then right here you have your up down adjustments okay but that's pretty much it you got a panel right there but one of the main reasons I wanted this one is because it has the the two MOA dot green and it has the 32 MOA circle. That's one of the main reasons I wanted this one. Okay, what else we got in here? We have, we should have the batteries. Okay, you have our screws. I believe that's kind of important. More screws. And we have an adjustment tool. I guess that's to adjust. Okay, okay, it's your adjustment tool and your, I guess it's your install tool. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what that screw is, I guess. The install the red dot itself. And I think that's everything in the box. So, let me just... Uh, sort of clear the gun first all right Ooh. all right let's see here remove the screws I'm gonna just set it up there right now and see if it'll see if it'll fit all right so So it looks like, oh no, wait a minute. I thought I was going to need an adapter plate, but it, let's see. 
I don't know if you can, you probably can't see that, but when I look at it for myself, the holes do line up perfectly. Yeah, the holes do line up perfectly, but you can see, I thought I was going to need an adapter plate, but turns out I don't. I didn't order an adapter plate or nothing, but um, when I checked out the red dot online on their website, it this it said that this one does fit the RMR footprint. So, you know, you can never, sometimes you can never tell about something until you actually buy it, get it, and then get it in hand. So that's what you have to, sometimes things happen, you know, but it looks like for now, this one does line up with the, the holes do line up, which is a good thing. Now, I didn't see the batteries in the box. I'm assuming the batteries are already in the... Let me try to turn this thing on to see. Because I don't think I have... I, I think, yeah, I think I do have some 1632 batteries. I'm going to see if the batteries are in here. It could be just like a battery separator piece to keep it from coming on in the box. Oh, let's see here. All right. Now, I don't know how to open the battery door. I guess I'll better read up on it. Anyway, I'll get it open. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it installed on the gun. And then, I'm going to come back and show you how it's going to look. So, so yeah, there's that. So, stay tuned for that. Alright, so, here is the uh, freshly installed Hollow Sun 508T Green on my SIG P320. Uh, the fitment was perfect. Um, you can see, you can see it's on. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but it is on. You have, just have to get the angle right to show it on camera. Sometimes the camera just won't pick it up for some. There it is, right there. You just have to get the angle right. Now, I'm looking at it through the camera lens. It's all blurred, but it. I can assure you, it's not like that. When um when I'm actually looking at it with the naked eye, that's a two MOA dot, so there's no way it's that big. But uh, yeah, the install was straightforward, with no issues. Uh, I picked the the shorter screws that came with the optic itself. No issues with those, and um, I thought I was gonna have a issue with uh, the gun is clear by the way. I got an empty magazine in, chamber's clear. But I thought I was going to have issues with the uh, suppressor height sights being intrusive with the optic. But as far as looking down the optic itself at the green dot, I'm not going to have that issue. Um, now, as you can see, I got a little bit of overhang on the sides. You know, it's, it's just a few millimeters wider than the slide the norsel slide that I got it on, but I don't mind that right there. Uh, Holosun does make a smaller version of this. I think it's called the 507K. Um, if, if that bothers you, you can go with that one, but that red dot there is mostly made for, you know, subcompact guns. A lot of people have the 507K on the, uh, P, the P365, but um, I was able to get the battery, the battery tray off and... Um, yeah, it's a 1632 battery. Um, of course, I haven't shot it yet. I just got it. So um, I was reading the book, and this thing has a lot of settings just for two buttons. So anybody who buy this, you know, I know some people don't like to read the instructions, but you, you, you're going to have to read the instructions for sure. But uh, anyway, I mean, it does seem like an awesome optic. Uh, this is the first optic I've ever owned besi besides something like my uh, my old version. Let me grab it here. 
my old version of the Romeo 1, the Sig Sauer Romeo 1. This is the only optic, other optic that I've ever owned. I've never tried anything else. And I have it on another gun. And you can see this gun has been abused big time. Uh, the optic on this one is a little bit blurry. It's an old optic. This gun is over six years old, so over five years old. It's uh, it's around six years old. But the red dot does still work. It's turned off right now. But, uh, yeah, you, but you can see how beat up it is. It is really old. But it does still work, you know. I can shoot the gun. I'm accurate with it, so. But anyway, uh, I can't wait to, you know, get out on the range and and test fire this optic. So, let me get you a look at it here. 357 SIG, awesome caliber. I wanted to do something different. You know, with the P320 build, all with the P3, all the other P320s I have, they're all nine millimeters. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to. Um, all you ever see when it comes to an optic gun is nine millimeter. You know, I always wondered why all the optic guns are nine millimeter, and I, it just pushed me to do something different. Now I know, um, like a couple months ago, uh, Smith and Wesson came out with a ten millimeter with an optic cut on it, and then. Um, I think Springfield came out with a 10 millimeter with an optic on it. That's that's sort of what surprised me there. Not the 10 millimeter itself, but the fact they came out with 10 millimeter guns with with optic cuts on them. I've never seen any other um, caliber straight from the factory other than nine millimeter that you can just put an optic on. So uh, when it comes to the P320. Norso is the only one making making anything else other than nine millimeter with optic cuts on them. So this is definitely different than what everybody's used to seeing. But uh, this gun build has uh, I'm waiting on one more piece, and that's the uh, the trigger reset spring from uh, oh can't think of the name of the company uh, Armor Craft. I ordered a uh, trigger reset spring for this one. Um, I like the SIG's trigger, the SIG P320 trigger, but they do they do not have the best reset on them. So I actually have one on this one, on, on my old gun. And this one here actually has a better reset than this one. So, but yeah. But all in all, I, you know, I'm almost done with this build. Uh, all, I, all I'm like it is my spring, my trigger reset spring and... I am going to do one more video on this gun. Everybody always wants to know, you know, how much I spent on this gun. I did a, I did a video like that a while back of how much I spent, you know, on a build. And it was just the same gun. But now that I've added to it, you know, it's going to cost a little bit more, of course. So I'm going to do another video on the prices of everything, how much I paid for the whole gun. But, um... Uh, but yeah, I, I cannot wait to shoot it, and I'm I'm definitely gonna abuse this gun. I you know I didn't build this just for looks. I'm definitely gonna shoot it. You know I'm gonna abuse it. So, um, but yeah, but yeah, one of the things I forgot to mention is though yeah I didn't need an optic plate. It, it, it was direct fit. So, but yeah, there you go. There is my Sig P320 chambered in 357 with an optic on it. So. With an Holosun optic, so stay tuned for the uh, the uh, the build pricing video that I'm going to do later. So thanks for watching.